How's it going everybody? I'm Ronald Jr. Welcome back to my channel and today I got another review for you and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Squire Bullet. Now this is the lowest end Squire guitar that you can get from Fender. Um, they have the Stratocasters and they have the Tele version, right? A little bit of difference in the lower end model guitars and one thing is the thickness of the guitar. This is not full thickness. Um, but you can still fit full size pots in it. So if you're a, a neat freak about how thick the guitar should be, this guitar is probably not going to be for you because it's just a couple uh, millimeters smaller, right? Just taking it out of the packaging, um, I was kind of impressed. Number one, the finish on the guitar is flawless. It's beautiful. Um, this guitar is crafted in Indonesia and it is a string through body, which I was impressed with that for one um, but it's just a beautiful guitar uh, it's probably a three-piece body but they did a great job maybe uh, button it up um, but it is a nice body guitar and it looks beautiful the neck is super satin it's, it's pretty much wood you can pretty much feel the wood grain in your hands um, it feels really really good to the touch I will probably put a shellac rub one finish on it just to give it a little bit better feel because it kind of feels rough it almost feels like a kit guitar that's been sanded down smooth um, everything is straight um, the strap buttons are straight the bridge is actually straight now I'm not a big fan of this bridge but a lot of people aren't a big fan of the three saddle bridge so I wanted to try it and maybe get brass saddles for it just experiment with it a little bit but you know the bridge don't have a lot to do with anything it's just tradition people like right but uh, it looks like it's uh, pretty nice um, the knobs you can tell are cheap you can just you can just right off the bat feel that they're super cheap I don't know if this has mini pots in it or what I'm pretty sure it does um, you know what you you can just tell that it is a budget-friendly guitar but I'm telling you right now that it feels okay like it feels okay like it doesn't feel like some of these cheap guitars that I've gotten in the past. Um, it actually feels really good. You know, that switch feels all right. Um, what I'm wanting to do is compare this to all the Firefly guitars, the Grote guitars, and stuff that I've gotten in the past. Um, this is the reason why I got it. I want to see how good it is. I want to see if it's worth it. You know, is it better or is it worse? I can tell you right now, finish wise, um, it's pretty good for the price. Um, as of right now, you can get these things for under 200 bucks. You can get them super cheap. You can find deals on these things all day long. You can find them in the flower, the Firefly range and the Grote guitar range. Um, so right off the bat, I'm impressed with the, the finish of the guitar and how it looks. So we're going to go to the fretboard. And right off the bat, I, I, the, the thing that I noticed, it needs a setup. Um, that's a downfall. It needs a setup, and the frets need a polish because you hear. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Super scratchy. Super super scratchy. So they're going to need a polish. Um, the fretboard looks pretty good. The neck's super straight. I I, I like it. Um, it says designed and backed by Fender, crafted in Indonesia. It's got the sticky, uh, the sticker serial number, and it's got the the tuners that are in with pegs instead of the the junky tuners, which I'm sure these are not the greatest tuners in the world. But uh, let's plug it in. Let, let's plug it in and see what it sounds like, and see you know what we can do with it. Um, I just want to see how it plays, and uh, kind of go from there, honestly. <laughs>
is it's kind of heavy for what it is i figured it'd be lighter since it's a little bit thinner but it plays good the only problem that i'm having with the guitar so far is the fret work um there's no high frets but there is really scratchy frets so um there's no fret sprout so i don't know if i just lucked out only thing that this guitar needs um, is the frets polished and it needs a setup. That's all this guitar needs. Um, it actually sounds okay for the price. It sounds okay. Um, you could you can upgrade Tele super cheap, right? I mean, you don't have to have fancy pit guards with a Tele. This is a single ply. This is not uh, a three ply, but I like black guard Tele's and Honestly, I like the single ply on a Tele. I always have. Even when it comes to the white ones or whatever color, I like a single ply. People think that, oh, just because it's single ply, it's cheaper. No, I think it is cheaper to make these because it's one ply, but I think when it comes down to it, it's personal preference. Because like I said, on my higher end guitars that I build and buy, I swap it out for a one ply. I just like it, right? Everything's lined up. It's not crooked. It's perfect. So I love this guitar. And, you know, I might mess around with it, put a little bit better pickups in it. It's held tuned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be announcing the guitar giveaway winner um, in March. So make sure you keep your eye out for that. You may win that guitar. Um, hit that bell so you know each and every time I upload a video. I'm Ronald Jr. and I'll see you next time.